which I'm pretty sure will be used against Doros if I know anything about my RPGs. And holy crap, we're on the other side of the same room. But if we go down here, we can find an amulet. Yes, I want to take it. And I am going to equip that immediately onto Valsu. Um, it is a replacement for the ring. And it has all the same bonuses that the ring does have. I don't know what they all are, uh, but it does give him 10 additional defense, and that is beefy. And immediately get into a fight right afterwards. Uh, let me show you what one of the fights looks like. It's, it's nothing too tough, as you can plainly see here. But I do hate that about the game, that I can't really seem to move anywhere without getting attacked and where even if I stand still I get attacked and apparently there is something that way can I get to it um can I go through this door and like pop out somewhere else no same room so let's see how I get to apparently I don't get to that treasure chest that makes me a sad panda so let's go through this right door because right is always right um, and here we get another topaz that can be sold, and here I fail at using my menu, and I get another beef fossil, which I still don't think I've ever used, especially now that Valsu does know the petrify spell, and I still don't use petrify. Okay, that's pretty much it for this little part. Apparently that's all I can get, because I cannot get through the flames, so I'm going to have to find another way to go even though this looked awesome and what i mean by awesome is that it looked like awesomely the end of everything so let me go check it again because it looked so much like the end that i am stubborn and still think that it is the way to go and as a result of that battle necro is now level 31 which is awesome and there's gotta be a way through here somewhere are you kidding me game Oh, it was just hidden right there. And guess what? Those uh, griffins that I've been fighting, they drop jewels. Guess which jewel they drop? Oh, if you've been paying attention, you already know the answer. Say it with me. They drop opals. And here I find a magic siphon that I'll probably never use. Uh, I do have the... the which rune is that? Uh, that is the star rune? Sky rune. And because I have the Sky Rune, I don't think that I need any more um, health or, or MP catchers or HP catchers or anything like that anymore. Alright, we're so close to the end here. Here we go. Into the... Oh, so close. This game has, has made this, this, this decision. It does not like me. Uh, so, hold on one second because this looks like an epic boss fight in the mate game. All right, I think we are ready. Let's take on Doros. You want to fight me? You are a fool. Ah, he is weak to the star. All right, so let's see what... Oh my gosh, it's like a mummy-ish thing. And there are three of them. I assume that's some kind of magic spell. So let's go ahead and use... Where is it? There we go, the star. Use. Ha ah. ha. Can I use Vasu again? No. Alright, so... Um, let's use the star rune first on Necro. Oh no, not Necro's precious MP. He uses that all the time. Oh wait, that's not him. That's Valsu. And that's the vacuum spell. Looks like just vacuum one, and uh, Valsu did dodge that pretty effectively. Did he already defend? Let's go for attack anyways. Oh, douche. All right, uh, Star Rune going down on Valsu. Because you never know when this guy's going to attack. Oh, good lord. Oh, that is devastating. Okay, um, you go ahead and use the water rune on yourself. 
You go ahead and do the same. He's gonna defend. You're gonna use the water rune again. Pretty much I'm relying on runes here for all these battles. You can go for the attack. You didn't dodge, but good lord, you have so much health. Do you have, um... Fire shield, heal three, exit, protect. He does not have the spell that I'm looking for. That sucks. I wanted defense two. Um, See, so yeah, that's that's defense one. That is not what I'm looking for. All right, so we're gonna stick with the water runes here. That works well. You defend. And, oh good lord, that does so much damage to both of you, doesn't it? Um, you go ahead and use that on yourself, uh, since he has a lot of uh, HP left. And you go ahead and attack. You go ahead and use a, a, a potion 3. I am authorizing use of a potion 3. As you can see, I still have 7 of them left, and that should not be a problem right now. Goes for the defend. I'm gonna use the water rune on Valsu. To heal up 19, apparently. Go for the attack. Oh, that that attack is devastating. Use the water rune on yourself because you don't have much in the way of HP. And good thing I used it. And Necro is pretty much our main attacker here, and he's going to be sticking with it. He's good, and it works. Go for the attack here. Boom, 350. Uh, go ahead and use the water rune on him this time. So it's a pretty basic strategy here. Um, I don't know how people can do this by themselves. Uh, well, with one, uh party member, I mean, even if it is Necro, and Necro seems to be the best party member that I've come across, and he heals himself, not that it does that big of a help, but at least it does waste his turn. So Hecro, Necro, did I call him Hecro? What the hell, he should be almost fully healed, let's waste an attack because the guy dodges it, um, and it looks like I'm pretty much back to full health here. Both of them uh, defend. Oh no, his precious MP, it's all gone. Whatever shall I do? Um, hmm. Let's go over with an agility on Necro so that he might dodge some things. Agility speed 30 up. That didn't work. Go for the attack. Oh, oh, oh so close. Um, let's go for the, while I'm at it, let's go for the agility on yourself. Now I'm a dodging machine, or not. Defend. Might as well use the water room to heal that up. He's got, uh, I've got nothing better for him to do. And he just gets attack again. And down goes Doros. And he gives me a ton of gold, ton of experience. Not that I really need either one of those right now, but I'm sure I will later. This game does have a big spike at the end, I'm sure. Doros's power is completely gone. And we get the light rune for our troubles. Um, can we search anything? Nothing seems unusual, of course. So let us take the time to explore the rest of this little tower castle thing here now that everything's gone. I do know that I missed at least one item. I don't know if it would have helped me in that fight at all though. And of course now the crystal ball is gone so I can't really use that to guide me. But I do know that it was one floor up and that it was on the right hand side. I don't know if that was the vacuum that I had gone for earlier. Um, but apparently this is a quick exit out of everything because it does look like that is... Yes, now I'm back outside of the t 
town so it's like a quick little escape tunnel interesting so I will definitely heal up and when we come back in the next part I will be fighting Legis and I will definitely find out where we need to go next so I hope you guys have enjoyed these last few parts I know I haven't done a sign off for any of them but that's because I have been bad about managing my time and I've been recording I think about for 45 minutes or so so I should be able to get about three parts out of this maybe even four so I hope you guys have enjoyed these past three to four parts. I hope you laughed, hope you learned, I hope to see you next time. I'm Baller Scuba, and we will be back with Let's Play the Seven Saga. Bye. <laughs>